Mom has no idea why doctors ask dad to leave. Then mom realizes what they've done. She had waited her whole life to have babies of her own, and now the mother-to-be was racing to the maternity ward after repeat IVF treatments finally took. But after doctors told her husband to leave the room, she felt all alone. Then she realized it was probably for the best that he wasn't there. Carrie had always dreamed of having a big family. Before tying the knot with the love of her life, Craig Kaczynski, the couple had discussed their hopes of becoming parents. Once they were married and had their house in order, they thought they were finally ready. But as is often the case, life had other plans. After a year of trying, Carrie still hadn't fallen pregnant. At first she put aside her worries, but deep in her heart, a little voice was telling her that this wasn't normal. After one particularly sleepless night, she decided to take the plunge. She set up an appointment with a fertility specialist for both of them. She had to know. When fertility doctors broke the news that the couple wouldn't be able to have children naturally due to various medical conditions, the Kaczynskis were devastated. The dreams they had of having little feet pitter-pattering through the house were suddenly brought crashing down to earth. But they weren't the kind of couple to give up that easily. Carrie tried to stay positive, but one day the reality of it all hit her hard. The test was once again negative. A stream of tears ran from Carrie's eyes as she considered all her options. They couldn't take out another loan for another round of IVF. They'd barely been able to afford the first treatment. They couldn't keep doing this. And then she got the news that changed everything. In 2013, one of Carrie's old friends contacted her via Facebook. Carrie was very happy to hear from her after all these years, but she was confused about why she would be reaching out after such a long time. Carrie was suspicious. She knew something was up but never expected the favor she was about to ask. The couple was desperate to have children, so when Carrie heard her estranged friend was pregnant, she couldn't help but feel a twinge of jealousy. The old friends continued to make small talk, chatting about how their lives had been going. It was strange that her friend had suddenly reached out, then Carrie discovered the reason behind it. Carrie's friend opened up and explained that she couldn't really cope with another child. She and her husband had been struggling emotionally and financially. They hadn't planned on becoming pregnant again, then she made a startling request. When she said that she hoped that the Kaczynskis might adopt her baby, Carrie was ecstatic, but she could never have imagined the consequences that would follow. On February 28, 2014, the twins Adeline and Kenna were born in an Ohio hospital. Carrie and Craig couldn't wait to see their babies for the first time. However, they were prudent and decided to adopt the children on a trial basis only. Then, one year after the start of the trial, Carrie called the birth mother with some news. Carrie and Craig had no doubt they wanted to be the twins' mom and dad for the rest of their lives, but when they told the birth mother their plans, she confided in the couple that she was having a really hard time raising her other children. Another set of twins, coincidentally born exactly one year earlier on the same day, February 28th. Carrie recognized the tone of her voice. What exactly was she asking for? Carrie and Craig barely hesitated when they were asked if they could take on the other set of twins. They wanted a large family and were financially secure enough to support one. Within just a few weeks, Cece and JJ joined the family. Even though they always wanted a big family, taking on two sets of twins is a huge challenge for any couple, but there was a reason they could never have made a different decision. Carrie explained to reporters that the decision was tough, but one that had to be made so the kids weren't split up. It was difficult, we were trying to get pregnant ourselves, but they were siblings, so that was definitely part of our consideration. We wanted to keep them together, Carrie told the Journal Times, but life had a surprise for them. Despite the rambunctious household they now had, Carrie and Craig still wanted kids of their own and hoped that one day a miracle might happen, despite what doctors said. Then, just one year later, Carrie felt something she never thought she'd feel. She threw on her coat and asked Craig to drive her to the doctor. When the doctor returned with paperwork, he was silent. Then he turned to Craig and told him to leave the room. Carrie was confused and frightened, but when the doctor looked up and said the three words, they sent a shiver down her spine. Then she realized that it was probably for the best that her husband wasn't there. Carrie and Craig were super nervous. They never imagined they would even be in a position to take a pregnancy test, so the idea that the result might be positive put butterflies in both their stomachs. The positive result was a miracle, but what the doctor had to say next really turned their lives upside down. The couple jumped for joy when they were told Carrie was finally pregnant, but the really big news was that it was another set of twins. 
Overnight, the family grew from an already healthy six to eight members, finally completing the picture with a baby of their own. Everything was going great for the Kaczynskis, until Carrie started feeling twinges just over halfway through the pregnancy. Carrie was only five months pregnant as she sat on her sofa folding clothes and felt she might be having contractions. Both her and Craig were desperately worried that something might be seriously wrong. Craig raced home and got Carrie in the car before heading to the hospital as fast as possible, but they were afraid they might not make it in time. Once Carrie was at the hospital, the doctors realized they needed to act fast. Carrie would need an emergency procedure if the twins were to come to the world this early. They asked Craig to leave the room so the doctors had space to work. The father of four paced up and down the waiting room, then the surgeon approached the desperate father with the news. Although they arrived prematurely, Carrie was relieved to see the doctors had successfully aided the birth of their tiny but healthy babies. The family had once again grown by another two children and they couldn't be happier, despite never dreaming they would ever be parents to three sets of twins. But the fact the couple now had two babies of their own isn't even the biggest coincidence of the Kaczynski story. Although it may be hard to believe, the end of that six weeks just happened to be a very special date on the calendar. It was February 28th, which meant that all three sets of twins shared the same birthday. The chances of that are highly unlikely, but it made the Kaczynski clan all that much more special and unique. Some felt at the time that the new baby's survival was a little touch and go. After all, they had been born at just 25 weeks, and the babies weighed a mere 1 pound 6 ounces at the time of delivery. They were immediately transported to a special neonatal intensive care unit as they needed special care as well as surgery. After a few weeks and a tough time in intensive care, the babies began to show signs of progress. Despite having undergone numerous surgeries and suffering viral infections, the twins are doing better and have gained 1.5 pounds. They remain stable but in a critical condition due to being born so premature. Despite having a lot on their hands at home, both Carrie and Craig tried to visit the twin girls at the hospital as often as possible. Carrie would make her way once a day to the Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. At the same time, Craig visited the girls three times a week when he could get the time off work. The Kaczynskis are very religious, pray regularly, and have a deep faith in God. The fact that all six children share the same birthday proves in their mind that it was all part of God's plan. Cece and JJ were born on February 28, 2013, Adeline and Ken on February 28, 2014, and Carolyn and Clarissa on February 28, 2016. As Carrie told the Journal Times, we think it's definitely meant to be that we'd have all of them. It's just God's way of saying, here, I'm giving you these children as a blessing, and I'm going to make it interesting and fun for you by having them all born on the same day. It just kind of happened all at once. You can't fuss with the stuff too much. You're just trying to put out the big fires and hope that the little fires aren't too serious.